Another one for everyone who hates Tesla. Guys, there's always negative media. How about a little positivity? You get it? Let's watch this and see what they're saying. I've been wrong about Elon Musk. I dismissed him as a showman, always eager to grab publicity with outrageous tweets and wild claims. And look at him now. He founded and still runs the most exciting car company in the world, Tesla. He makes electric cars in Asia, Europe and America. And most people I know who have them say those cars are the best electrics on the market. He also founded and still runs the Boring Company. That's a budding transportation enterprise that just opened a tunnel in Las Vegas. He and Jay Leno drove through it in a prototype Tesla Cybertruck. Tomorrow, maybe another triumph, weather permitting, a SpaceX rocket lifts off with two American astronauts aboard. It's a first for commercial space flight, and Elon Musk did it. You could make the case that he is a lot like Steve Jobs. Musk may have the same impact on the world. The iPhone changed so many things. Arguably, so will Tesla cars, tunnel transit, and hyperspeed, and SpaceX. I was wrong. Musk is a game changer. As of now, I think he is the most important executive in the world, bar none. Ooh! Guys, that's nothing but facts. That is Elon. <laughs> I appreciate everything you said. And the accomplishments of those many different companies is not an easy feat, okay? This is not something that anybody could do, even possibly Steve Jobs. Commercial flights sending individuals up, up, up in a way is something that was magnificent. And our space industry was dead globally also, not just in the United States of America. So he's pushing innovation with the Boring Company, Neuralink, which was not mentioned. And that's okay. With SpaceX and Tesla, energy, FSD, cars. It doesn't stop there. Now, here goes a good or famous content creator. And he says the following. A lot of people ask me what the biggest lesson I learned from meeting and interviewing Elon Musk was. And it was something simple, subtle, but important. I was struck by his humility, sense of humor, friendliness, and down-to-earthness. He was a normie, <laughs> for the lack of a better word. He seemed to just as pleased to meet me as I was to meet him. Elon is objectively, objectively. Now, I know you guys are a lot of subjective commenters and audience people, but objectively, one of the wealthiest and most successful men of all time. Yet, he isn't arrogant, boastful, or disconnected from reality like so many celebs. That's just celebrities, people who, you know, sing or put a basketball in the hoop, who have achieved a fraction of what he has. His love for humanity is genuine. And so, if one of the richest and most famous men in the world is not an arrogant elitist, if anyone had the right to be, it would be him. Then why should you be? Why should anyone, whether their achievements or lack thereof, that was the biggest lesson and reminder. No matter how famous, rich, or successful you are in this material world, I would say an important world, you should always be humble, kind, and respectful. We are all just humans, ultimately. Respects out to the big homie, the smartest and richest African-American, Elon Musk, the guy on the right, a brother from a different mother. So that's one person, right? That's what they have to say. I think it's pretty important. Somebody who actually met him. And I got to go check out that actual video, right? I haven't checked it out. And nice to meet you, sir, right? Of course, Elon was happy to meet you. And when I want a nice table at a restaurant or get into the hottest nightclub and skip the line, I tell them that I know you and I get right in. And so people are just, you know, some people are positive about it. So shout outs to them. Look, it's the facts of the matter that Elon is a very important person. He's remained humble. And I think even just normies who haven't achieved anything, no celebrity, no nothing, they actually are the ones that are most arrogant. <laughs> it's like, God dang. You twiddle doorknobs and you're more arrogant than Elon Musk. It's ridiculous. <laughs>
you know I, mean? I know what I'm talking about. So Sandy, shout outs to Sandy. You guys seen him on the show, breaking down these cars from the Ruta to the Tuta. He says, Elon is a man of this entry. Facts of the matter. I'm going to let Monroe take it from here. I will tell you one thing. Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon Musk is the greatest person on the planet right now. Nobody else out there, nobody has made a rocket ship that'll go to Mars. Nobody out there has made uh, electrification a, a reality. You look at that, 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 that magnificent piece back there, if, even if you don't like the look of the Cybertruck, look inside. Who the hell, who, who else is going to be able to push 40? Now, let me stop right there. He said, look at the car. Okay, you don't like the look, but look inside the content of the car, the engineering, the innovation, the innovation and engineering at a mass scale. This is what we're looking at. Regardless if you like the car, say, okay, it's ugly. I get that. But to look inside, but most people, you're not looking inside. You just know how to hide. No, I just wanted to say that. But most of you people are not looking inside. You're not, you, I don't care about engineering. It's ugly. Like what kind of low life says something like that? You have to really question yourself at that point. Mr. Negativity, Martin Luther King said, the content of the character, not the external. 48 volts, which we should have done in the 1960s. Who else is going to give you an ethernet uh, uh, a ring that, 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 that eliminates a giant amount of CAN bus. Who else is going to give you rear wheel steering? Who else is going to give you steer by wire? Nobody. Why? Because they don't have the brains, they don't have the guts, and they will never, never take a risk. Never. Never. The boring company. The satellite dishes. All these things come from one guy. And, and what do these guys want to do? Make it bleed. Make it bleed everything they possibly can. They're going to throw them under the bus. But here's the deal. In 100 years, no one will remember any of these jerks. And I'm telling you right now, you should stop believing in them. Today would be a good day. Facts. I'm going to let them finish. But facts of the matter. No, if it bleeds, it leads. This is the only rule in the media. If it bleeds, it leads. That's all they talk about. This and that, today, to month, to year, to, to the last minute, to 72 hours. Like They're always drumming up something, and you guys already know it. So when you hear Elon, when you hear them talking stories, even about your life, you got to sit back and say, man, I could never listen to these fools. And shout outs to them. They're just doing what they do, trying to click, trying to play to your brain bug. You know, you want to look for danger. So they're going to give you danger and you're going to click on danger and say, what's this? And that's what they need. So if they say something nice, a, a nice, peaceful story, that's not going to get selected. This is going to be positive. So most people might not even click on this video. But when it's all said and done, nobody will remember none of these guys. But they will remember Elon. And it has nothing to do. We're just being a fan of them. See, people are fans of people who put basketball in hoops. People are fans to people who throw a ball down the actual field. And, and nobody questions that. Nobody questions when everybody's a fan of a guy who swims in a pool. Nobody questions it when people are a fan of a dude who kick a ball with his foot and put it on his head and then roll it back to his shoulders and put it off of his arm. Nobody cares. Nobody bats an eye. Everybody says that's normal. But when we out here supporting a guy who creates a mega factory, the world's largest factory, you a fanboy. Revolutionizes at least vehicles. You're a fanboy. Revolutionizes energy and comes up with solutions, not just climbing agreements or paper and documentation and regulations and policies, but real product and services you're a fanboy when we follow the general who's been winning we're fanboy we've won battle after battle after battle elon's proven himself but you're a fanboy we have to stop and listen to the people who twiddle doorknobs because they know more about running a billion dollar company
multi-billion dollar company. Make that make sense. The guy on the Twitter, the guy on the Instagram is telling you that he knows more about managing and innovating a multi-billion dollar company and hasn't done nothing in a real life in a real way. But we're the fanboys. Because at the end of the day, Elon Musk is the is the man of our of this this century for sure. Okay, now I got to go and take a rest. <laughs> he's the man of this century, and he's the greatest African American. And we're gonna end on this. Elon Musk, even at the schools, teaching y'all kids something that, to be honest, you can't teach them. We don't want you to teach them. What you going to teach them? How to lose? How to demand more? How to feel entitled? We don't need any of that. We need all boys and girls, everybody. Nobody staying at home and cooking. Nobody going back to the traditional days. We need all hands on deck to move forward. Does anybody have any experience with first principles analysis? Do you know what it means if you write about it already? You look at what others are doing, say, well, others didn't, others didn't make it work, therefore it doesn't work. But that, that, that has no basis in reality. Um, a first principles of, or kind of foundational approach would be to say, let's look at the physics and economics um, of, of a rocket and say, if we do, if we, do, if we analyze the physics um, of, of the rocket, is it physically possible? Say, is it physically possible to do it? Not we can't do it because no one else did it. But can we do it? We have to ask ourselves that question. Texas Institute of Technology and Science. Now, that was a joke that Elon made. Out here teaching the kids. I'm definitely with it. I see you guys on the next one. Everyone loves to hate Tesla, but I'm going to be honest. They need to brush their teeth. We all we got.